Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back. We're back here with Into the Breach with the Zenith Guard, and these guys are tricky. It doesn't help the game keeps giving us battles where we have to end with less than 4 mech damage when one of our mechs damages itself every time it attacks, but we've been able to pull it off this time remarkably, and so far it's going okay. We have one mission left to take on this island before we take on the final battle, and we have to decide really what we want to go into. We're not going to the Rust Dunes, because I don't want to deal with Volatile Vec. Basically, we're choosing between the QA Division here and Harden Point. Harden Point is definitely more appealing, but I don't know if we're going to be able to pull it off, because this is a high threat detected map, when we also don't have any environmental effects to help us. And that might be pretty nasty, because the enemies are already scaling up to a dangerous level. Now, if we do want to go into Harden Point here, let's take a look at our, what our map is. That might be doable. If we take a look at the QA Division, what are we looking at here? A much more open space. We may be able to deal with that a lot more easily, but you know what? We're going to go for the more dangerous challenge. We've gotten every accomplishment so far, so if we can get the rest of them, then we'll also get our free benefits. Which might be hard with Harden Point, but we're going to try it and see what happens. Let's go, and hopefully not regret it. We shape the weather patterns over our, the island so our solar farms can harvest sunlight 12 hours a day. But to do that, the farms need to remain standing. We'll do what we can here to help you. They're starting off real nasty with an Alpha Firefly, an Alpha Leaper, a Beetle, and a Soldier Scion, so they get bonus HP. Oh boy. Well, hopefully we don't regret this start already. Let's get ourselves into some form of positions and see what we can do. Now, I may want to actually move them around a little bit. The Leaper has a tile range of four, so we can kind of go wherever he wants. We actually want him to attack our tank because it doesn't get pulled. But it can kind of go wherever it wants, which is a bit of an issue. This way it's more likely to attack our tank than our other units, but I also kind of want the tank to be able to hit the Alpha Leaper, or at least have the laser be able to hit it on the 2 damage hit. That might be fine. The Charger is going to be a problem too, because we can't effectively stop him from going into the back line here, which is not good for us. But we may not have a whole lot of choices. Let's end our turn and see what disasters follow. I don't think there's a better way for us to lay this out, so let's hop to it. Time pod dropping in already, all right. Can we make this work? At the moment, it looks like maybe. Maybe. Because what we can do here is we can stand our defense mech on the time pod, pull the scion over one. Bring our laser mech down, zap the whole line. It'll do three, two damage, and one damage. Then we can smash these guys with the charging mech, which actually doesn't kill... Oh, no, it'll kill him, because it'll he'll have one damage, plus one he'll remove from the Scion dying. He'll take two from being rammed and one from being bounced off this guy, so he'll be dead. This guy will have... He has five health normally. He'll be down two from the laser, one from the Scion dying, meaning, dying, meaning he's at two, meaning he won't die from the bouncing damage. That's actually not enough. Now, alternatively, I could move point blank here and fire on these two, but I would do the same as if we kill the Scion because they don't lose the bonus health. Is there a better way to handle this? I really want to be able to smash these guys this turn because we need to kill as many of them as we possibly can. Now, I can also... Oh, man. We could hit four guys in a row here. It just doesn't clear this Firefly, but it would kill everything else. If we hit the Alpha Leaper with a... Uh, ram from our charging mech, it would line him up as well, then we could pull this guy in line and zap the whole column. It would do three, two, one, and one, but it wouldn't let us charge these guys so they wouldn't die either. Mm, not as good. Cooler for the full four in a row zap, but not cool because it doesn't kill the beetle or the alpha firefly. It just kills the leaper and the scion. Is there another fancier way we could do this? I might need to shield these two buildings this turn, because I don't know if we're going to be able to do enough damage. But if I do that, then I can't line up the nice super laser kill. I'll be able to do three to him, two to him, 
and then smash him off his ally so we can kill the beetle, but it doesn't do anything to the Alpha Leaper, doesn't kill the Alpha Firefly, doesn't kill the Soldier Scion, which is not really a great turn. Is there any way we can make them attack each other so we can hopefully mitigate some of the damage that way? I don't think so, not with the way they're all facing. They're all facing to the left. Or top, top left, I guess. So we can't easily mitigate them that way. And if I want to move the defense mech here to pull the Scion forward so we can zap all three, then I can't protect this building in any other way. Because I can kill... <laughs> I have a play here that only kills the beetle, and that's not great. I think we're really going to have to puzzle this turn out here. The alternative is we move over to here, pull the Alpha Firefly over one, and then stand in the way with the laser mech and blast both of these two. That would allow us to kill the Scion, make sure the Firefly doesn't hit anything important. It would hit us for three, but we'd have two health left. And we'd also pick up the Time Pod. But we wouldn't be able to kill the Beetle and the charge mech can't get to the other side of him to do anything from there. We would have the movement to do it, but we can't get there. I could slap him over this way, but that doesn't actually help us. So the charge mech wouldn't be able to do anything significant about the beetle, so that makes that not a good move. Um, is there another way we can deal with these guys? I mean, I could just move the defense mech over here, pull this guy out the way, and then not do that with the laser mech. Do something else. But the problem is these guys both have too much health for us to kill without killing the Scion. If we kill the Scion, then this guy only has three health, so the laser mech can kill him. I really should have probably switched the sides on these guys, but I knew he was going to grab anything I put over here. So putting that there was kind of required. Now his turn order is four, but I can't shove him in front because this attack would knock him into the building and then you kill it anyway. Um, how do we do this? I could stand here and laser this way. That would smoke him out so he wouldn't get to take a turn, but it wouldn't kill him. It would just hit him for one. Which is really not good enough. What I could do is stand here, kill the Scion with a laser, back up one tile, shield these two, and then just smack these guys to try and do some damage. I can at least kill the Beetle and the Scion that way. And this building takes no damage. We still have an Alpha Leaper to deal with at the end of that. We have two new guys and an almost full health Alpha Firefly. But at least they don't have the Soldier Scion, and at least the Beetle would be dead. No, it would not. It would still have it would still have one health left. So both of these buildings would lose their shields right away. Which makes this really not a good play. Man, there is just not really any nice plays here. If I were to... Can't, I either have to shield these buildings or kill both of these enemies, and I can't do that. I just don't have the damage to kill both of them. So I have to shield these buildings, do as much damage as I can, and then try to kill them later. Or kill the Scion and just count on being able to deal with all of these enemies at the same time. And I don't like either of those plans. Neither of them are good maneuvers. I have a feeling the charge mech... Well, the charge mech could move over to here and smash the Scion. If I were to move the defense mech first and shield both of these guys, I could actually move the, the charge mech over to here and smash this guy with the ramming attack. That way we kill the Scion. We're in this position, though, which is not great. But then I can bring the laser mech over to here and hit him for three, which is still not enough. I could hit him for three, though. I would have to block this with my body, which is actually worse. No, it's fine, because the, the shield would be on here still. So we can kill the Alpha Leaper and the Soldier Scion in one turn, which might be the best play. I don't like it, but it might be the best play. Because the Alpha Firefly, we can't do anything to this turn, I don't think, no matter what. We can prevent it from destroying a building. We can prevent this one being destroyed by the charge damage. 
And this way at least those two are dead. We'll still have four enemies to deal with next turn, which is not what we want. But they won't have the Scion, and maybe we can live through this this way. Can I get that far? Yeah, I can get four spaces. Alright, so we're gonna go for this. We're gonna stand here with the defense mech. I think this is the best move we can have. Hopefully this doesn't damage our pod. It does not. That's good. And we can stand here and vaporize the Alpha Leaper. Now, I'm just kind of counting on the game not killing our time pod. Um, I don't know if there's really any better way to protect it here. Hopefully they don't stand anybody on top of it. But I think this is the best we can do. We take one damage and one off the bounce, but the, the building is safe, and this, they're both safe here. So that's going to be pretty decent. We got another Leaper and an Alpha Hornet. That's not good. So far, though, those moves are both manageable. Leaper goes and ties up our defense mech, which I don't love. This is a lot of badness. Okay. How do we deal with all of this badness in here? This is a whole lot of nasty. He's gonna hit us for three if we don't do anything about it. I can put the shield on these two buildings again if we have to, but hopefully we don't have to. Problem is, I may have to laser myself in the face to be able to kill these ones. I can kill both of them and I'll block a spawn, but I also have to laser our defense mech, in, our charging mech in the face here. Um, is that our best play? It might be. Because if we move here, we do three damage and two damage, which leaves him on two and three respectively, which means we can charge them from the front, doing two and bouncing him for one and doing one, which kills both of these two. So Camilla can make sure that both of these die. The defense mech is going to take a pile of damage off the Leaper, which is not great. I could just kill it by ch pulling it off myself, but then I can't ki I can't protect the building, which I think is more important. Uh, and that way we'll only have four enemies on the map again, but we'll have killed all the alphas. Three enemies on the map, because we'll be blocking the spawn, so he'll be down to two health. Now, is there any other better way we can do this that won't cause us to just leave every single enemy on the map? I don't think so. We can't kill this guy in a way that also lets us kill both of these. This one is attacking the building, and I don't see any better way to kill just him either. What I could do is I could back up. I can't back up because there's no tiles here that are safe. I was saying I could throw a rock in front, but we can't stop in the smoke. This guy we could kill, but not in a way that protects our laser mech. I'd have to move here and laser them both, which is not what we need. Um. And I can only shove him further in by moving the charge mech over and attacking, which would mean that he wouldn't die, and also they wouldn't die. So I think the best play here involves lasering ourselves and taking a pile of damage on the defense mech. It's not ideal, but it will have to do, because it protects us the most that we can be protected right now. By getting rid of some of the biggest threats on the map, and protecting our buildings. I don't like it very much, but it's what we've got. Now the biggest problem here is that if this guy attacks our defense mech again, then we're going to have to bring in some kind of crazy shenanigan maneuver to defend it, because we're not going to be able to do a lot of other things against him. But let's end our turn and see what happens. This is going to hurt. No building damage. Three mech damage. Lita is on the brink of destruction again. But thankfully, they only got a tiny guy. Alright, I'm okay with this. This is actually pretty good. We should be able to deal with this. Now, the only downside is we can't get far enough to deal with this guy or this guy. So, he's going to take another point of damage, and he actually can't afford that. So, we're going to have to move something off of him so that he can kill one of them, and we can do something to the remaining enemy. We may wind up... The problem is we're going to have three more spawns on the last turn now, and everything is super low health. We can kill either of these guys with our mech attacks. If I could line them up, we could kill all of them with one mech attack. But we can't quite do that. We may want to use the charge mech to knock the beetle into the smoke. That way he doesn't move. We can pick up the pod and then smack him into the smoke. 
Um, then, if we move the beetle over, we can actually stand here and laser both of them and kill them both. That means we only have a hornet left. That's probably the best. I think so, because that moves the leaper off of the pull, and then we also aren't standing on the spawn. We're going to have four enemies on the last turn again, but if nothing else, we'll have picked up the... Um, the picked up the time pod, killed the beetle and the leaper, so we'll just have the hornet and whatever else spawns in. And we don't necessarily have to kill all of them, we just have to kill one more enemy and not let them damage anything, which we should hopefully be able to do. Oh man... We have some serious maneuvering going on here. Let's take our charge mech into position. Pick up the pod. Smack into him. Attraction pulse the leaper. Hang on. He's gonna kill him for us. Is it better for us to kill the hornet and leave just the leaper? Is that better? Because as it stands right now, he doesn't get a turn because he's in the smoke. The Leaper kills him for us, and the, no, because the Leaper can tie us down. It is better if we kill the Leaper. It could potentially have worked the other way around, but at least this way, there's less enemies that can pin us in place, because there's probably going to be at least one of them that spawns here, and we can't afford to cover them this time. I had to be able to move myself off of this spawn, otherwise the two damage would kill us for sure. So this lets us end our turn. And if everything goes according to plan, we maybe don't lose here. Okay, that's not good. Got an alpha hornet. Got a hornet going in the back. Another hornet going in the back. The charger's fine. He's fine. These two are not fine. We're gonna have to deal with them in whatever way we can. And I think we might be able to do it in a silly way. I'm okay with this. So I think we can hit all of our objectives. It's going to be tight, though. What we have to do is move this charge mech around to here and slap the big hornet out of the way. That way he can't attack these two buildings. That means he's standing here, though. So we have to use our defense mech over in one of these tiles, not in the line of the hornet or the firefly, to pull our tank back one so we can bring the laser mech in and kill him. That- oh no, that would damage the building though! No, we can hit him with a rock. If we stand here, we can shoot a rock at him that kills him. Doesn't put us- oh, it would put us in harm's way though. Because this guy! No, we're so close here. There's gotta be a way to do this. There's gotta be a way. So, because the trick is, if we stop here, then the beetle slaps us. If I stand right here, can I rock something that's next to me? I can. Okay, we should be able to do it then. We should be able to do it with the same kind of scheme. It might be a little dangerous, but we should be able to make it work. We don't have a turn reset, so we have to be very careful about this. Oh, if we screw this up, it will go really bad. So we just can... I'm going to double check it. We can do this. It looks like it doesn't place a boulder. It doesn't hurt us. Okay. So undo the move. We have to do this in a very specific order. Turn one. Move into position. Charge the Alpha Hornet. Turn two. Move out of danger. Attraction pulse the charge mech back. Turn three. Stand next to the Hornet. Rock launcher him at point blank. Oh, I think we got it. That was a crazy battle. Okay, let's end our turn. I think we live through this. <laughs> that one was hard. Wow. All right, mission complete. Those solar farms are essential for maintaining the grid. It's a miracle you kept the Vec from destroying them. We got two power, we killed at least seven enemies, we protected the time pod, we protected all the civilians, and nobody died. That is glorious. 
Oh, what's in the time pod? Give me something good. Ooh, what's this? A heat converter. Freeze the tile in front, but let the tile behind on fire. Hmm. That could be interesting. It's in any class weapon. You also get a reactor core. Oh, man. I'd love to get a new pilot, but we should get one as long as we can manage to accomplish our corporate HQ task here. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, do we want to use the fire and ice ability on Camilla? Maybe? Do we want to put it on our mech? I don't think so. The ability to put the shields and the attraction pulse is actually pretty good. The attraction pulse is kind of a garbage weapon, but we've used it to really make some options happen that would have been impossible without it. So I don't know if I actually want to get rid of it, which is weird. The shield projector has also been very useful at helping us live long enough to do other things, although potentially being able to freeze an enemy instead might mean we don't need to. It is only one use per battle, though, and I think that actually makes me say, no, we're not going to use it. I might put it onto Camilla just so we have it as an option, but I don't really want to take off any of her power. I don't really want to give her more power right now. We have a ton of power we need to put into our laser mech. This guy needs a ton of oomph to make himself be more powerful. All of these damage ups are kind of required, because we're going to have a hard time killing the late game mechs as it is. And late game vec as it is with our mechs. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what we want to do with this power. I don't even know if we want to use this heat converter or not. It's a cool ability. It allows us to completely disable one enemy and add damage over time to another if they're side by side, or at least deny enemy a space. It also allows us to protect buildings. It's a really versatile ability, but I don't know if it's better than the shield projector, which allows us to put bubbles on our own tanks, as well as on objectives, or better than the attraction pulse, which has let us manipulate enemies into line for the laser and also get our enemies out of the way like in that last battle. If we didn't have the attraction pulse, we could not have done that last turn move. I don't know, man. I don't know. I also don't know what I want to put this power into. I'm tempted to give it to someone right now so that we can use it in the final battle, but I don't know where it would be most useful. Everything that we want kind of needs two power, which makes this a bit of a dangerous situation. I could put it into the extra damage on the charge mech, which puts us up to three, but it also increases our self-damage to two, which means I can't safely attack every turn. And it's only a slight damage up with a big damage self up. I don't know about that. I'd really like to get Abe on this one, actually, because I bet that self-damage gets reduced to nothing with his armor. But... Hmm. I'd also love to finish leveling up Lita, but it's pretty hard given that there's no way to deal damage with them, really. But I kind of want to keep Amelia on this one because that extra mech move and extra mech, mech HP are pretty nice. If I were to switch them around... We have one mech reactor on Lita. We'd lose the shield projector, so I'd have to turn that back on with our additional power. We'd get an extra power here. I could take the movement and put it into the rock launcher, but I wouldn't be able to maneuver as easily for the burst beam, and that five movement sometimes matters. We're really debating this one. We're going to do the next fight too, no matter how long this episode takes, but we have to really think about this, because we have a careful situation to work with here. That would make Lita level up a lot faster, which might be really useful. Uh... Well, let's take a look at it. If we were to move our pilots around... We lose the additional... Oh no, we actually don't even need the health here, because we have the 2 mech HP on Amelia. That's actually really nice. Interesting. So we still have two power to spend now, so I can put it into the rock launcher if we want to make that a three damage ranged attack in addition to our three damaged beam, which is probably a pretty good use of our power here. We're down to only four move and three health though, which is worrying given how how much damage we've had to face tank on the last missions here. And the fact that the Hive Leader mission is probably going to be a swarm, so they're going to be hitting us pretty hard. I think we want to put the power into the laser mech no matter what. We know this is where we need power. We're going to put it into the damage on the rock launcher. 
That way we have a high damage hit at range and a big group damage thing if we can hit through a crowd. That makes these pretty comparable for different reasons, and that might be good enough. I'm a little worried about that, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Now, next up, we have the Corporate HQ. And this is gonna be nasty, I think. All right, let's go. A Vec monstrosity is assaulting our tower. We have to rely on you this final time to help us. These voices have changed every time. We have an Alpha Leaper, which is not good for the Frontier. We have a Firefly Leader, which shoots in both directions. Yeah, it does, which is fine right now. And we also have a Firefly, which is not a big deal. So, what? how do we want to deal with this? I probably want to put the Laser Mech in front. This guy can move four tiles. He can literally go anywhere he wants. <laughs> okay. This one can only move three, which isn't quite as dangerous. The Firefly here can't move very far at all. So he's not going to be able to do anything. We don't put anything over there, uh, which might be actually what we want. This guy is the real trick, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them like this, because if he stops in front of us, then I can still blast the line. And I'm going to put our defense mech over here, too. No, because he was here to attack that line, which is not safe either. Five movement lets us get behind him, so we can pull him back. If I'm going to put our defense mech over here. And he can still get over there to stop them from that side. So that might actually be good enough. Hopefully he comes over this way, but if he goes that way, then we can actually get him out of the way still. Actually, no, if he comes to here, we can't pull him back. Hmm. How do we deal with that then? I might put the charge mech over here and the defense mech over here, but then I can't protect against the Alpha Leaper still. That's not good. Um, this is key because it means if the Alpha Leaper goes here, he doesn't do anything to us. But actually, he can jump over us and attack this guy anyway. If he does, we still step over him and fire back this way. If he stops here or here, if he stops there, we're stuck. If he stops here, we can't do anything to him with this layout. So I have to put the tank on this side. Because if he comes over here, there's nothing we can do about it. If he jumps to here and pins us, this is going to be a problem. But we might be able to use the uh, the defense mech to reposition him. Because we have a good movement range there. And then maybe we can free them up. Okay, I think this is what we have to go with. I'm not comfortable with it. I don't like this... I don't like this guy at all. He really messes with how I want to lay out on this map. But he should make it possible. So let's confirm our placements and really hope that the laser mech doesn't take a bazillion damage because it can't it can't tank anymore. Alright, let's confirm. We're really overthinking our first turn here, but that's because it's actually really important how we do our placements. This guy is trouble. Okay. Oh! That's not what I was expecting. Interesting. <laughs> that is... Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay. On the plus side, we can use our boulder here to slap the Firefly Leader and protect this building. We can use the Charge Mech to smash this guy into a wall and kill him, or smash the Alpha Leaper into a wall and kill him. Uh, however we want to do it, I probably want to bring the Defense Mech over here to bubble the Tower and the Charge Mech, just to protect our objective and to make sure we don't take damage right off the bat. I can either stop here and smash the Leaper and tank this damage, or I can go past the Leaper and kill him. But I think killing the Alpha Leaper is better, because this thing is bad news and it ties us down, and we really don't want to be tied down if we can help it. We take a little bit of extra damage on the Charge Mech, but if we shield him first, it's safe. Is there a better thing we could do with the pull? I don't think so. I think the best thing we can do here is smash this Alpha Leaper to pieces. I'd love to be able to deal with the Firefly Leader, but at least this way we bring him down to three health. And then we should be able to kill him next turn. Mm, I don't like this very much, but we don't have a whole lot of option here. They're going to have two new spawns, but at least we'll have killed the Alpha Leaper, protected the building, and shielded this for future turns. Is there anything better we can do? I... no, I don't think there is. So we're just going to do it, because this way... This way, we are better protected. That's a nice tall bubble. <laughs> and bring ourselves over here and smash him to death. Okay, we also took a damage, advantage of our three damage rock here. 
because it allows us to kill him more easily next turn. I think we're just going to have to deal with whatever other shenanigans we run into, though. Let's end this turn and see what happens. We're going to be on four enemies next turn, which is never good. But only one of them is actually dangerous, and neither of these two are significantly problematic, which is really healthy for us. That's kind of annoying, but we've already protected this building, so it's not the end of the world. This is also kind of annoying. Hmm. Okay. Now, I could stand here and laser through this line. We take one, two damage from being slapped? No, one damage from being slapped, because I would move forward to here. This one would do nothing, and I can use the charge mech, or I can use the charge mech to kill him and block this firefly attack again. I can no longer kill the firefly because it's not against a wall I can smack it into. If I hit it this way, though, it'll die and block that spawn, which I don't actually necessarily want because we still have another turn. If we block him on turn two, it's much better. Or two turns to win, not on turn two. Um, is there anything else better we can do? I don't think so. It means we're going to, again, have four enemies next turn. But it means the Firefly leader will be dead, and it'll just be a normal Firefly and a Beetle left, which is not terrible. What am I doing with the defense mech on that turn, though? Is there anything better I can do? I could block both spawns, but I don't actually like that plan. I could come over here and just block one spawn, do a damage to him, protect the damage on our defense mech. That might be the play. I can't pull him into the line of fire of our laser. I could move here, pull him back one, and attack there, but that doesn't actually make a difference because I still can't get them both in the same line. I could move over this way though, pull him over one, and shoot this way so we hit him for at least one damage. That's probably better. We do a little bit more damage that way, and we still kill the same enemies. So let's do this. Let's bring our charge mech over to here. Kill the Hornet in the back, and we block this damage for that building. We scoot over this way. The Rock's gone, because he already attacked it. Attraction Pulse in here. Move up nice and point blank, and Laser Burst this way. Now this only does one damage to us, we don't hit the building in the back, and he's down to three, which means he's easier for us to kill in one attack. Okay, let's end our turn and see if we can maybe survive another one. <laughs> Hard mode is tough, guys. Ooh, Alpha Hornet. I don't like the look of that. Where's he gonna go? He might come to here. Attack that way. No, he attacked that way. Okay. We might defense mech to protect these two buildings this turn. How do we deal with these guys, though? I can just laser him. If I can get into this position, I can kill a beetle and damage the firefly, but not kill him. I can use the charging mech. Oh, I can't get quite far enough. No! I can use the charging mech over here to smack him into the mountain, but we don't have quite enough movement to get there. I can hit the Alpha Hornet, but I can't kill it. That's not good. Now, I could bounce the Alpha Hornet off this building, which is protected. That would bring him down to 1 HP in a dust cloud, so he doesn't get to attack. This guy would still hit us, though, because we're still shooting this way. That would mean that I don't need to use my defense mech turn to push them out of position, though, because he wouldn't get to attack because he's in the dust, and he's still hitting the side of our charge mech, meaning it would be down to 1 HP, which is... or 2 HP, which is, like, still really bad. But, uh... Uh, I don't like this. No matter what, we're going to have four enemies left on the next turn again, and one of them is going to be a one health alpha hornet. The trick here, what we can do, is if we use the laser mech in this position, we move the defense mech to here first. We can use the laser mech to fire down this line, and that way we kill the beetle, do two damage to the firefly. We can use the defense mech to pull him into ourself to kill them. So both of those two die that way. I think a better play, though, is actually to use the same mood maneuver with the defense mech over here to pull this guy into him after we charge him into the, the corporate tower with our charge mech. So he'll be down to three, then we can kill him off ourselves. We'll have a firefly with one health left and a firefly with three health left. 
but those are pretty manageable enemies. We'll have two new spawns, which might be pretty nasty, but the beetle is dead and the firefly is dead. Only problem is I can't do this without also lasering myself. And I honestly think that might be the play. Even though we hit ourselves with a laser for one damage, we'll be at two health left, and that might be enough. We are going to be so low health by the end of this. We've taken a ton of damage, but I think this might be the way to not die. Um, plus we can... Uh, yeah. Hmm. He'll be at one. He'll be at three. Oh, this is going to be a... A weird battle, friends. A weird battle all around. Is there a better play? We can kill this one and this one, leave him at one, leave him at three. If instead of that, we use the rock throw on him, we could make it so he'd be at three and he'd be at three. We'd be at three on our defense mech here because he wouldn't get shot with his own laser, but he would still take damage. The charge mech would still be at two. Is there anything else we can do here to make this work better? I don't know if there is, because we can't kill the Alpha Hornet without doing this play with both of these guys. And I kind of need to kill the Alpha Hornet. I could alternatively bring the Charge Mech around and hit something, but I can't kill anything over here with the Charge Mech. I think this is the move. I don't like it. I don't like it very much. But it kills the most enemies. And we need to not be dealing with a ton of enemies on the next turn. Oh! Oh, it stops! That's amazing! It doesn't go through the mountain. So we don't hurt ourselves. That's perfect. I was expecting it to just blaze across the whole map regardless of mountains. But it turns out mountains actually stop lasers. Okay, this is more acceptable then. We have a little bit more health to play with here. Let's end our turn and see what new fresh horrors await us. Because this guy's probably going to come around the back and tackle our buildings from behind. And we also have a Scion. That's actually really good. A Scion is, is not a big deal here. Okay. It is kind of still a big deal here, because it means that this guy's at 4 HP now. But I mean, we can almost ignore these guys. We can we can actually, we can survive this turn with no damage. So we don't have to kill them. We can survive the turn with no damage no matter what. Uh, we can use the laser mech to kill the firefly. We can use the shield mech to put a shield bubble on both of these buildings and then just get out the way. Uh, so we can, we can survive this turn no matter what. Is there a better play though? I don't think there is. We can't kill the alpha beetle. There's just no way we can kill it. I can't maneuver it to attack anything else because we don't have enough room. Uh, the Firefly, I can't kill because of the Scion. If I use the uh, Laser Mech to kill the Scion, I could kill the Firefly, but then the Beetle would kill me. And we wouldn't be able to stop this Firefly. So this is the best play. It's not the most glorious play, but it is absolutely the best play. Get some more experience for Lita as well. And we move out of the way with you and repair. Those shields have actually come in really handy. All right, let's end our turn. Oh, man. Shield mastery, there you go. We also got the achievement for blocking four damage because all of our shield bubbles were used in this fight. I must admit, that was an impressive performance. We will rest easier knowing that Vec monstrosity no longer infests our island. Wow. Well, we got all of our accomplishments, we got all of our civilians protected. We are rocking it! You completed every mission on RST despite the odds. You've earned my respect, Zenith Guard, and everything we can offer. Well, what are you offering me for free? Lily Reed, who I'm not a huge fan of, the self-destruct button, which I'm really not a huge fan of, and some grid defense. Well, we're taking the pilot then. Oh man, she's really not good though. <laughs> she gains three move on the first turn of every mission, which is her special, which is 
okay, but her, she already has the skill Grid Defense, so we're almost 100% gonna sell Lily Reed, which is really sad, because we only have one named Special Ability Pilot so far on the second island. But she's just not that great. Our default pilots are already better than her, I think, even though they don't have a special ability. Man, that sucks. And I don't like the self-destruct. So we're gonna take Lily Reed. And we're gonna spend some reputation. At, the, at least she gives us some extra reputation. These look like some cool abilities, though. What is this? The push beam pushes all units in a line. One use per battle, but you can add power for infinite use. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if we're going to take it, but it's interesting. I like the ability to pull a little bit more than the ability to push, and the fact that we can target someone helps too. The boosters, we always like the boosters. That ability to jump around is pretty handy. The confuse shot, fire a projectile that flips a target's attack direction. It's also free. Or the phase cannon, shoot a projectile that phases through objects. That's really cool, except that it is so low damage. Phase shield sounds interesting, that you can shield things you shoot the bullet through. It sounds like a really cool and versatile item, but it's really weak. And we kind of can't afford that right now. We need to pump up our damage pretty heavily. Because things are just going to keep getting out of hand if we don't. I think we're going to sell the heat converter and Lily. That would let us buy one of these items if we want it. I could put the boosters on Camilla, but she already has a way of getting out of web. So that's actually not great on her. Because the nice thing about the boosters is you can jump out of being trapped, but she can't be trapped. Are any of these things worth buying? I'm really unsure. We're going to spend some more time deliberating here, because I think this is actually really important. We might just buy a ton of reactor cores. We need some. Uh, even if we keep Lily for now and sell the heat converter, that would let us get a bunch more stuff here. I think we're going to sell Lily... Yeah. Buy three reactor cores and a power grid. I don't really like getting power grid right now, because we're only getting one grid defense per power, which is pretty inefficient. Um, the heat converter might still be a cool thing to put on Camilla's mech if we just want to disable things with her instead of killing them. The, the power draw is the main downside, and the fact that it's only one use per battle. If we were to swap this onto something... Upgrades are plus one use. Okay. So we could potentially do that twice a battle, and given that we're probably going to be ramming things most turns, that's not terrible. Um, mm, I don't know. I'm so glad we have seven health on this thing, that we needed that. I feel like... I feel like as much as I like the boosters, I don't actually want them here. We don't... we can't afford to make another one of our damage mechs not kill things. We already have a mech that can't do damage. So, our science mech is the only one we can afford to have weird effects like this. Putting the flip direction on might be kinda cool, since it's free, but I like being able to pull enemies and ourselves. I kind of don't want to change that right now. Our our team kind of needs the ability to line enemies up a little bit, so I don't want to get rid of the pull. And the shield has proven immeasurably useful so far. So I kind of don't want to swap out either of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell com we're going to sell Lily. Sorry Lily. We're kind of wasting one of your reputation anyway, but I need you I want to keep that ice weapon. So we're going to confirm the sale of Lily Reed. It feels so weird to do while we have two non-skilled pilots, but their abilities, their well, they're non, non-passive, non-special pilots, the skills they have are already better, so I, I don't think it's worth it. We're going to take three reactor cores, we're going to take one grid defense, ugh. and we're going to put this to as good of a use as we can. This is a long episode for two missions, holy cow, they've been tough ones. Um. I'm going to put the heat converter on Camilla, I think. Or are we going to go straight to more damage on the burst beam?
Yeah, I think we want to power up our prime. We have to do have to have something that can do four damage. Moving into the next area, I think that's key. So for now, we're gonna put we're gonna put all three of them into here so we can power up the laser. We're going to attach the heat converter onto the charge mech, and we're not gonna turn it on yet. I don't like this a whole lot, but we need the ability to vaporize four health people from point blank. Because, like, it makes the range a little bit more effective. It means we have that point blank kill if we need it. We still have the three damage long range if we need it. Mm. I don't know. This is a tricky one. There's a lot of things that could use that power, and we're already a little behind. But I think, I think this is what we want right now. Whew. More health on you would also be nice, Lita, but we're going to deal with what we got. So. <laughs> oh, this is a stressful situation, but I think we're going to leave it this way. Either way, we need to pump a lot of power into this guy, and I think this is the way to do it. We might actually take the power out the rock launcher, put it in health and ally immune too, but for now we'll leave it as it is. Let's leave the island. That is two islands down, and boy are they a lot more stressful on hard. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Let me know what you thought about those two battles in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye.